Man, thank you. Really, from the bottom of my heart. I'm gonna show you the image that's in the center where it's located on the Mona Lisa, approximately in this area, when it's x-rayed. And I'll reduce this down for you for you to know that it exists. Also gonna show it to you that it's also in my painting that you're gonna say, woo. Okay, so hold your breath. Well, you know, you gotta breathe. Okay, so this is the younger Mona Lisa. And I got another little surprise at the end. This is the older Mona Lisa. You can't stop age. Nope, can't stop age. Okay, so if you really take a screenshot of this right here, I'm gonna zoom in for you. You see this image right there? See that guy? Looks like he's kind of like in a boat, but there's all kinds of images in right there. But you got this character right here. Boom. And he's in this big old banana type looking boat of some sort. But I'm sure you're going to get a lot more images out of it. And then when you take my image that so happens to be that's in my x-ray and you, you, you look at it right there. Right here. It's the same. It's the same guy. I know it's difficult, but this is it right here. It looks like gibberish, don't it? But, watch. You see, see the curvature, how it goes like this? And it's got this character up in here. Okay. Same guy. Now I'm gonna bring those two down to where you can screen shoot it. And you can see how difficult it is to pull his work that he hides. The answer to your question is how come they're so difficult if, if, if that was the question, I believe, I've asked that question many a times, is because what he painted in mine may have been in layer one and what he layered in two here, or vice versa. Or it could be number 99. And so you have to do the right pulls and it's very difficult to get that way. So I'm gonna reduce this a little to get the pixels out of it a little. And I'm going to reduce this a little for you to see. And so sometimes they come out a little bit better when they're not so blurred. But as you can see, those images are the same. Now, it's, it's something else in there that you need to look at. There's an image that's right... find it this image this image right here kind of looks like a monkey with his arm behind his back with a tail well if you follow if you follow the boat the boat and the hat and you go straight across and you drop then you go to the hat, you go boom, straight across and drop. He is to be in this area. Well, here, let me get this, it's very difficult. So you can see. So when you when you when you zoom across and and and, and do a timeline. It doesn't mean absolutely he's going to be there. He can be here showing up on his, or here, or here, because he makes a move. So you go across and you drop, and it is here and here in movement that he has, and that's where you, you bear in and you study it. And right in that area, you have a similar, a similar partial 
look of the same character because in this character here if you look in the back he has this white arm coming back down in here and it stops but you can see it also drop so he gives you a portion of it but he also gives a portion of this one here in movement and then he gives a portion of this one that he's making in movement I know that it's making this YouTube looking a little kind of funny but I'm only the messenger and I know how he places his items and I'm very sorry to confuse you trust me I've been confused with this guy as how come he does what he does but if you also look that you know in general you can see in mind how there's a shadow in here like this and you can see a curve in here well you got a curve over here and you got a curve here but that doesn't that, that that's just fortunate because normally you won't see that it's that difficult and so that means when you end up with his his works and you see these lovebirds that we were got a YouTube on that means you would f you would front this other one of mine over here and you move it on up and you zip it around and you look for that bird which would be almost impossible to find but if you see and I don't know if you want to screenshot it and it takes a little more exam but if you see the feathers of these birds here and how it zigzags you can see how there is some here and how it zigzags and you can see how this head here protrudes and you can see how the color is opening here and then you know that something is here but if you also look in here and here so you got here and here but you also have it in white big circle here so you have a bigger portion here and then it stops more over here where it stops more over here so you know that he has the hiding there you know that's his spots that he's he's concealing and this type of work in which I'm doing has almost made me crazy but I love it, it I wasn't too great in puzzles but let me show you this is an x-ray of my painting itself okay and this is a pulled color turned of the uh, Mona Lisa and this is another thing that you really need to understand I know that I probably made you bored but <laughs> I don't care I really don't because this is a fact when I'm showing you let me let me just if, if you really want to study then you really would have been in it in the beginning look at the face in front of the face so you got this face then he makes another face in stars and all white and how it's looking over at her okay so he gives these if you if you see he gives these eye movements across and you can see these these arrows because there's a Mona above my Mona that he stares at because he's thinking of what she was when she was younger that's why she's in here two is here's a code of spelling Leonardo da Vinci it's in here now this is this is the code break so I don't know if you can follow this so you have to screen shoot this one too but see if you can follow along because there's no way I'm going to draw this out and I got to remember how it goes but this is an L as you can see that is a L and as you can see within the L butt up right against it as tight as can be like you're hugging your sweetheart that is a E you can see that huge E you look it up he's got a dot 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 and a line there is a break in between okay so he's got L E O okay he's got an O in here and then he makes his N okay now black 
is a color, okay? So then he's got his N in curve in here. You can see how he curves it, okay? And then he has an A. Then he has this man standing here, kicked off, R. Then he has in big O letters here, a big old D in stars. And then he has his little O again. But it continues. He's got another big D right here. He's got an A. He does it in reverse. Or he can do it in vice versa because you could even see the D here and you can see another A here because he's constantly writing his name. It gets better. Watch. Here. Here's a here's something that you will say, what is it? Okay. You go over here, what is that? Okay? Look at it. Screenshot it. It's a person. It's a person looking this way. So he's staring at his name. He's got a nose hair with a hat and he's aiming on down at the body. But if you take and screen shoot, you'll see this body. This body is another body on top of another body on top of another body. My belief is several things he learned and used traumatically. He learned from the Indians who built totem poles to where he built images on top of images just like the totem pole. And then on top of all that, he learned from the Chinese. And the Chinese are, are the individuals who were well known for silk art. And don't forget, I did show you the silk of the art. And let me see if I can bring that up. Uh, he did art of silk on the build of the canvas. Those four little things you see right there, right across here, 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 and here are weave. There's also weave starting here. This is part of the canvas, and here is a deer in which he knitted to be painted over the top that you would never see. He's also got Joseph and Mary sitting in there sideways. Screenshot it. And you'll also see right there, you'll see the disciple right dead in the center with the hat looking. Screen shoot it. Listen, if I'm doing the study, you can do the study and it's not hard to hit two little buttons to screenshot. So with that, I got in mind to tell you that there's gonna be a new avenue of you guys paying attention to a magnificent artist out there. And he is a magnificent artist. And because of such, he, um, he ended up with people that were lovers of his that ended up would, would jump in front of a bullet, if there was a bullet at the time or any, any enemy for free. They, they loved this man completely. And there's pretty darn hard to find anybody in life that you uh, can't live without. And with that, there's this girl that is, uh, again, I can't express my um, uh, uh, good-hearted feeling of how she um, tries to um, do the best for you, and as myself, and I call her Supergirl, and she is, and uh, she deserves uh, um, a pat on the back. And uh, she's too far away for me to pat her on the back, though. <laughs> so anyway, um, what I got to say is, is that I get emotional with this stuff. I get emotional, my apology, I get a little further, I get a little confusing for you. And um, see, these x-rays change dramatically. And I change the subject a lot, too. And see, as you see, here is Sully again, and I've said it many a times, and I do believe it may be really pronounced Soli, at, or Sala, Salali, or so, because it does look more as a U, but then again, in the internet, it, it says it's S-A-L, but it looks like it's an S-U-L. And uh, so, I was going along with the internet, but I'm not sure. I've not done study on um, most of the internet stuff. The one thing I do remember that was said on the internet was 
that Leonardo da Vinci once said that I will not use my body as a tomb to carry dead carcasses. And so that's a very strong vegetarian statement. And I mean, we're next to the hippies over here uh, when I was raised, and I don't think I've ever heard a hippie ever, um, a vegetarian ever make a statement so strong. And so I believe that's why he had a lot of animals that uh, loved him, and he put them into cartoons. And I think he was well loved. They didn't smell meat on them. And uh, I'm not a vegetarian. I was once, but um, I keep an open mind. So uh, uh, on um, changing, everybody got to keep an open mind and keep an open mind on uh, people's beliefs. Um, if your mind is closed on one thing, then uh, feel sorry for you. Keep an open mind. And Leo had an open mind. A big open mind. Okay, hey, God, I just want to say, oh, wash your hands, social distance, wear a mask, and remember, God loves you. Just always speak the truth, speak from the heart, Keep practicing, keep learning, and hey, may God bless the whole world, the universe, and the heavens. I hope you enjoyed this. I know it had a little boring problems in there and misunderstandings again. My apology. And uh, I love you guys. Love you all. Okay? Get some sleep, Supergirl. Bye. Thank you and I love you. Have a great day.